everyone, this is Finding Fun here, and I'm doing a box of dimes. And I did a little bit of stack hunting, and I found this pretty good condition. Um, what is that? 1976 $2 bill. So that was pretty cool. I also found some cool serial numbers, but we're not going to get into that this time. Today we're going to do a box of dimes, and possibly a box of nickels, maybe not. But right on the top here, I just found this one dime. That's not an American diamond. I see the words five pence. So really quickly, I'm going to pull it out and do it live. So that we can get a better look at that coin. Very blurry. Okay. Popping it out. And there it is. Five pence. Kind of funky design to it. 2008. And unfortunately, it looks like most of these are brand new. So I'll go through this box of dimes and see if we find anything cool. And if not, then I might do the box of nickels. I was just okay. fooled by this. You see that diamond there? Doesn't that look silver to you? Well, I pulled it out. And, oh, I just dropped it. And it, all it happened to be was a 1966. Close, but not quite really. And honestly, not really close at all. Let's see if it will focus. Currently, all we're really getting is really shiny, brand new 2015 dimes, even though it's 2016. There you go, 1966. It looks really silver though. Anyway, I'll continue with the dimes. I'm mostly through the box. Um, and then I might go on to this box of nickels here. Just did my first roll in the nickels. And I've already, just in the first roll alone, got a 1954. And I think a 1955. So I'm now going to go through. Oh, and by the way, I found nothing in the dimes except for that one foreign coin. There was nothing good. And there's no enders on these nickels. But the first roll gave me two from the 50s. I'm hoping to maybe get a buffalo or um, maybe a silver out of these. And we will see what we get. I'll show you everything I got in the wrap-up and not waste time with just mere 50s. So, I'll see you guys okay, in the Okay, so this is the wrap-up. We went through all the nickel rolls, and this is what we've gotten. So, I'll start with the old stuff. So, this was our, my best find of the day. It was one that was definitely worth the wait. It's in 1939, except it's... A D. So the D mint mark, I think only around 3 million were made. That sounds like a lot, but it's really not. So that was a pretty cool find. We then got a 39 here, 39 there. Those are both planes. 41, 46, 52S, another 52S, 53 which actually goes in my nickel book, and it's an S. That one's actually pretty rare as well. A 54, really beat up 55. 55 again, 56, 56, 56, 57, 57, 58, 59, 59, 59, and a 59. So that's what we got as far as old stuff goes. And this is the foreign. The weird thing about this one was it wasn't even quite the size of a nickel. It's actually a little bit smaller. And I don't know how, I don't know, it would have to have gone through a coin counter machine. And those normally sort out foreign coins. But that one made it into the nickel rolls. And it's a 2011 one penny from, I don't know, um, two Canadian cents. And this weird one that we got from the dime rolls, five pence. And 
Then I always pull out the two weird ones. This one was weird because it's just worn down so much that you can't even really read the date. And it was just kind of cool, but the back isn't worn at all. So that was kind of cool. It's also kind of like bent out. This one is bent out the opposite way because I think somebody stamped a bunch of these little circles into it quite a few times. I think like three or four, maybe even only two. But anyway, thanks for watching my videos, guys. Please like and subscribe, and I'll keep making them.